We want to give a little context of Columbus, North Carolina. And to do that, we want to bring in Mayor Pat McCool. Thank you so yes. much for having us in your town today. Well, well, thank you. You've been here all morning. I'm join I'm the one that's joining in late. <laughs> um, tell us, first of all, who has a mayor with the last name McCool? Mick Cool. <laughs> yes. Uh, tell us what makes uh, Columbus so cool. Columbus is your hometown. I mean, you know everybody around. If you walk down the road, streets, you're going to meet people you know. You go to the restaurants, you're going to know people you know. You're going to know the owners. You're just going to be able to communicate with anybody. It's like the what, watching Andy Griffin. <laughs> a little bit of Mayberry here yes. in Columbus, North Carolina. I, I yes. love that. And I always like to get a couple quick hits about things that people may not know about uh, these spots. And Columbus, North Carolina has a lot of history. Um, coming in, you see the iconic courthouse. Yes, it is. We got a courthouse that's built somewhere between 1855 and, and 1860. So that's before the Civil War. The Baptist Church was also built there. Uh, we got two great museums. We have a Polk County Museum and it's everything in it is based just on Polk County. So you can get an education about the a whole U United States from the time of the American Revolution until now. We also have the only flag museum in America. I think that's so spectacular. I mean, yes. people, uh, you would think there would be plenty of flag museums, but the only one in the country here in Columbus. Yes, only one. And we've got some statues. We've got a statue for Thomas Howard down the Stearns Park that dates back to the Revolutionary War, 1780. We also have the Doughboy, which uh, honors in memory of the ones that died in World War I. Yeah. And it was actually, the money was raised through the schools. The schools actually raised the money for that statue. I, mean, I think that's spectacular, paying you know tribute to our, all of our soldiers that fought, many that didn't come back. Yes. So I think that's very special to be able to do that. Definitely come and visit Columbus, North Carolina. Uh, yeah. You're known as the, the first peak of the Blue Ridge and the foothills. Uh, and everybody knows when they're heading up the mountain, you get that first peak right around uh, Columbus. So yes. you're known for that too. So thank yes. you for all the hospitality you guys have extended to us this morning, our whole crew. We appreciate it. And thank you so much for, for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Definitely come and visit Columbus, North Carolina. It is a, a great town here in the foothills of the Carolinas.